It's been so dang hot like the past, I don't know, two or three weeks that we haven't really been able to get out and do much. So it's like 80 degrees today. And I was like, let's go, let's go ride scooters and go to different playgrounds all day. What's up guys? Hope you guys are doing good. When I got up this morning, our subscribers, my subscribers on this channel was at 323. And I just wanted to say really quick that I appreciate all the subscribers. Um, I, I wanted to do a 300 subscriber video, but I wanted to wait because uh, in the past on my other channel, when I did like a milestone video, um, a bunch of people unsubscribed. So I appreciate you guys. We're at 323. I think when I get to a thousand, on this channel, I'm going to buy myself a Panasonic GH5. Today's video is going to be talking about this lens right here that I have on my T3i. Um, I get a lot of questions about what should be the lenses that I buy after the kit lens. Most people get an old Canon camera. They have a kit lens and they want to know what's the first lens. And without a doubt, I think the first one that you should pick up is the 24mm f2.8 pancake lens. What's up? You got chocolate on your face. And I think the real reason this thing is such a good lens is the cost. Personally, I would pick one of these up used. There's not going to be much of a difference in quality. I think if you pick one up used and I wouldn't pay over 75 bucks for one of these, but um, if you were to buy them new, they're about a hundred to 120, an extremely affordable lens for the performance that you're getting for one of these Canon cameras. These would work too if you want to adapt it to a different camera. I used to adapt this to my M50 when I had one too, but um, for the cost, I don't think you're gonna find a better performing talking head lens, a better performing photography lens. Shooting photography, shooting videos, that's kind of my hobby. I don't need to go into debt to shoot videos in my yard. So a uh, great low cost option for a talking head lens. Another reason that I like this lens is the focal length. A 24 mil on a crop sensor is right at 37 or 38 millimeters. Um, and that's almost 35, which everything is based off of film off of 35 millimeter. That's what they call full frame. But to me, a 35 millimeter focal length is the most natural looking. I think it's just because we've been, been conditioned through, you know, phot popular photography, popular videos. I think it's the most natural looking. And the 24 mil on a crop sensor is about that. And then there's the image that you get from a pancake lens. And the 24 mil EFS lens is is kind of unique in that all copies are pretty soft at f2.8 but then when you stop them down to about f5.6 from from about f5.6 to about f11 they're really really sharp so you kind of get two different looks from the same lens you get a nice soft f2.8 and then you get a really sharp f5.6 and it's almost like having two different lenses now for low light that could kind of suck but if you're shooting outdoors most of the time like me or photography that's not going to bother you that bad the 24 mil f2.8 also has stm motors so if you're using something like a canon t3i most of the time that's not going to matter but if you upgraded to something like the ADD, which you guys are seeing me on right now, or an SL2, the STM motors are silent. So you can still run an on-camera microphone and not hear your lens. You also get pretty decent macro performance from this lens. It, it focuses pretty close. You can get some nice looking shots of some small objects pretty close to the camera. And then there's the size of this lens, the overall form factor of this lens it does lack image stabilization which some of the ef lenses have but if you put the little 24 mil pancake lens on something like a t3i without a battery grip it it kind of makes a dslr way more compact way more fun to shoot with especially photography way easier to carry way easier to store and this lens has 52 millimeter filter threads which is about the cheapest that there is um, I wish that when I started accumulating ND filters and diffusion filters and stuff, I would have went with something like 77 or 82 millimeter, but I bought a bunch of 52 because this was the only lens that I had for about a year and a half. And um, now I wish I would have bigger, but 
you can get a Black Pro Mist, a Tiffin Black Pro Mist for 30 bucks. You can get the KNF Concepts for 20. You can get good ND filters for about 30 bucks. So 52 millimeter. Um, if you just are using this lens and you just want one lens, a simple kit, go ahead and invest. Mine are right here. I just keep everything in one of these little socks and it works really well. The 40 mil pancake lens is the exact same size and body. So that's gonna be it for photography. That would be my pick uh, for the next two to get, but that'll be a different video. I'll see you guys later.